But I'll ask one more wait. Bring you another video. It's going to be a tough video for me to do. Because I'm a big fan of this guy. Um, you know, Marcus Lattimore, um, you know, he had to retire this week um, from uh, knee injuries. And um, I just wanted to uh, touch on the subject because, um, you know, I remember him when he uh, when he got to South Carolina in uh, 2010. And he was like the number one running back that year coming out of high school. And, uh, you know, I'm a big college football guy. And uh, I'm not a big South Carolina fan, but, but like Lattimore, he just had – I mean, he ran so smooth and hard, you know. You know, we haven't. I mean, I haven't seen a running back. I mean, that moves as nice as him, you know. And um, you know, he got hurt. Um, twenty eleven and twenty twelve. Um, twenty eleven was against, if I'm not mistaken. Who did he get hurt against? Was it Vandy? I, f I forget which team in the in the uh, SEC he was he was he was he was playing against, but uh, he tore his ACL. Um, you know that was uh, you know that just messed me up too, you know. Um, and I felt bad for him because you know he's a, a very good running back, you know. Um. Then 2012, um, I would never forget it. They was playing in Tennessee. That was like a 12 o'clock game. And, um, you know, I was in the bed with my girl. We, I mean, like, we chilling, whatever. And, uh, you know, uh, she was asleep. And uh, I'm sitting there watching the game. And uh, he got rolled up. And... And I'm sitting there watching his leg. His his leg was was broke, broke in half. And and that just hurt me, man. Because as soon as I seen it, I knew he was done. I knew Marcus was done, man. Um, I can't. Well. You know, they say he tore everything, man, in L.A. And, um, you know, it was a major setback because I knew he was going to come out for the draft uh, after 2012. And uh, I knew he was going to go into the league. But, um, you know, once you have them knee injuries, man, it's, you know, uh, even though, the, you know, like the research and the technology is better now than it was like 30, 40 years ago. And, like, the rehab is, you know, like you can rehab better and, and you know, but, um, you know, once I see his leg, man, I, I just, was just, just like, I just had, I mean, that should hit me right in my gut, you know, and, um, you know, he, um, you know, he ended the draft, um, the, 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 the uh, 2013 draft, um, he, he was drafted by San Fran, um, I was kind of, I wasn't shocked that he ended the draft because after coming off the two knee injuries, it's like he was gonna go to the league anyway. But like, 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 like them two knee injuries, I didn't think he was gonna get drafted at all. But uh, San Fran took the chance on him, and I'm like, yo, like, you know, you know, like that was good for you know for them to pick him up. You know, draft him, and uh, I knew he wasn't going to play 2013 because there's no way he could break his leg like that and and still come back next year and play. Um, you know, it was just messed up, you know, um, you know, because he's a, he's a good player. Like, you know, I don't know him personally, but, but you know, he looks like a good kid. And, um, you know, I felt sorry for him. Um, so, uh... 
he get drafted in 2013, and uh, they already announced he wasn't gonna play, so he sat out all I mean all that year. And I guess he was, you know, I, I think the whole time he was rehabbing and rehabbing, 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 because because his knee. Like I mean, for people that haven't seen it, uh, go on YouTube, uh, check out like the Marcus Lamar injury, the uh, one for twenty twelve, and you can see his knee, just look like it was just, it, it looked like his bones, it like his whole bone, and his knee was just broke. Now you know bones ain't supposed to break. And then they do break. You got a long time to recover. Um, so uh, you know he got drafted. Um, you know he, he set out last year. Um, and this year I'm like, you know, I kept hearing during the uh the off season and preseason training camp, and they say he was working his way back, working his way back, working his way back. And I just read like a couple weeks ago that he was supposed to be. You know, going to be activated, and um, you know, uh, Sunday I think it was Sunday. He said he's um gonna have plans about his retirement, and I'm like, what? And they say he had a, a setback, you know, uh, and you know them, you know, uh, I felt bad for him because he could have been a, like the next great back we have in the league. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, we got AP, got the Marco, we got. You know, McCoy, you got Foster, you got Jamal Charles right now. We got, we got Matt Forte, you got Reggie Bush. We got, we got all these nice backs in the league. And I think he would have been like that next one, you know. And I think if he didn't get hurt, he would have been, he would have been first round for sure. He, he, he was a first round pick. But you know how it is, and it, you know, when when uh, people get hurt, their uh, draft stock fall, and they fall, and they fall, and uh, you know he fell to the fourth round. So, you know, but he was the first round talent, and it, and if people disagree, it, it's something wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? Because they must they never see him play before, and um, you know he uh, you know he will be, you know. He will, he will, he will, he would be one of the players that um, we was hyped to see, but like we ain't gonna never see him. You know, we ain't gonna never see him. You know, blow up into the league. You know, and you know, take the league over. They be like, damn, who that boy right there, number thirty eight? Like, yeah, that's the boy Marcus Lattimore. You know what I'm saying? But you know, uh, you know, um, you know, I, you know. I wish him the best. Um, Bows, uh, you know, Bows more awake. I know, you know, I, you know, I ain't no big, you know, big YouTuber or whatever. So, you know, I just do regular channel. So, but, um, you know, but, um, you know, for me personally, man, you know, that's just messed up. You know, I don't want to see nobody get hurt. You know, um, you know, no, that's for every, you know, that's for, that's for any football player. If you get knee injuries and the knees are like, I mean, like you need healthy knees to be in the league. You can't be like, you know, play on broken legs. No, that that shit ain't gonna work. No, so you know, you know, Marcus, he, uh, I'm pretty sure he's messed up, but um, I'm just glad that you know. I got to see him play, uh, you know, during three years in South Carolina, you know. But um, it's probably it's probably good, probably a good thing for him because we don't know how we don't know how his knee will hold up, you know. We just never know. You know I'm saying like we can't have him back. Like damn, like I mean, like we can't be selfish as fans and you know, like want him back. And then you don't know what he's doing off the field. We don't know how his knee really is. Like then, like we were just so hyped to see him, but then we don't really think about 
how he really feeling with his knee. You know, so that's for all the players, though. You know, so um, for me personally, um, oh, well, you know, I, you know, I wish him the best of luck. Um, and um, uh, take care of yourself, man. You know, um, you know, it's kind of messed up, but uh, you know. You know, just this shit crazy, man. But uh, this is Bob Movement 08. Hope y'all like that Marcus Lattimore video. And that shit ten minutes long. But uh, you know, I just, I, you know, I just, you know, I just wish him the best, man. And um, that's it for me, man. I'm out.